Unlike many people, I don't find the topic of Trump terribly interesting. Uh, I am probably notorious if you paid attention to what I've said about Trump in the past, being ridiculously ambivalent about the, the figure of Trump. But I do want to offer some commentary on what I think is likely to happen in the wake of his presidency as it continues and some of the buildup that's occurred. Now, quite in contrast to what's claimed uh, on the left and perhaps even in contrast to the the hopes and dreams and desires of those who uh, put him in power, Trump has been an exceedingly mild president in terms of what he's done, in terms of legislation that he signed in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, a lot of, if you, if you go online, look up some of the things he signed in, it's, it's pretty minor, a minor example. Um, H.R. 2611, Little Rock Central High School National Historic Site, Boundary Modification Act, okay. Um, uh, Safer Act of 2017, this law aims to continue to reduce the rape kit backlog and make technical changes to the DNA sexual assault. I mean, I'm not saying that's a great thing, but the point is, is that nothing he signed in so far could be described as radical or incredibly deviant from precedents that had been set prior to him. In fact, it might be unfair to compare Obama to Trump, given Trump's more limited stay in office at this point in time, at least, the date of publication of this video. But uh, look at the Gay Marriage Act, uh, Obamacare, and all these things. I mean, whatever Obama put out, granted two terms, eight years, he, he signed in a fair bit more that could be considered radical when compared to Trump. It remains to be seen. Trump might be a one-term president or even a two-term president, but still, I just don't foresee the kind of radical legislation that people might have feared or any sort of radical aspect of the president himself. He's a populist. He's, a, he's just a guy. Uh, there's not much to think about him. But, but there are things that can be divine from his current stay in office. We all know how hyperbolically the left tends to pillory him and terms like never Trump and this idea that he's some sort of incarnation of a demon or the devil incarnate or whatever. He's a personification of evil. Comparisons to various fascist dictators from the 20th century, all ludicrous, all insane. No one with any sense would take these claims seriously. But I do think that despite the cheers and the uh, the joy, if you wish to call it uh, such, of many people who voted him in or people who supported him when he got in, long-term, I think Trump is a victory for the left. I don't see any ascendancy of quote-unquote right-wing ideas on the horizon Quite the opposite. I see a backlash coming. A backlash coming will be based on a false perception of Trump as anything more than a centrist and a populist, which is what he is, as some far-right uh, dingbat who's doing far-right things. All not true, but still. And this could happen as early as the next presidential election, assuming he doesn't get reelected, but he might do it. It really depends. Uh, it really depends on the will of the memers and, and other people. But even if he is reelected, uh, I think it's very unlikely that you get someone of a similar sort uh, reelected into the White House. Specifically, I think Trump Trump's election had other implications. The the you could it's not unprecedented. Things have there have been. You could say celebrity politicians before. I mean, Ronald Reagan was of a sort. He was a grade B actor prior to his ascension as California governor and then presidency. But the type of celebrity that Trump represents, people have been making noise about Oprah. But it's not insane to contemplate the idea that an Oprah could get into uh, the office of president of the United States. She has all the qualifications. She is both, she's a a world famous celebrity. She's black, she's a female, etc. Um, and she's extremely left wing. 
when the blowback comes, when the backlash comes, and I think it almost inevitable, uh, I can see the possibility that I'm, I'm wrong on this, I'm certainly not a prophet, but I do think that it's very likely that that type of person, not necessarily Oprah, w would be the next uh, president of the United States, someone on the far left or someone left-leaning, uh, not nearly as centrist or populist as Trump. And here's the thing people are missing. Trump being a popular centrist, he's not going to do anything radical. Someone on the left, like Obama, or someone who even further to the left, like Oprah Winfrey, I mean, she could do all kinds of strange things. And all you need are a bunch of minorities and women to vote these people in. And I'm, like I said, almost certain that whether it's four years or, or eight years, in the wake of the Trump uh, presidency, there will be somebody new who will represent something very different. And because Trump is a populist and a centrist, nothing radical in terms of right-wing politics will get done. It will be basically preservation of the status quo. And the status quo is an overarching, overweening tendency to look at things from a left-wing perspective, perhaps not in the legislation itself, but in general social perception, commentary, etc. This uh, long term it does not bode well. The pendulum, which Jonathan Hyde often talks about, needs to swing at the very least back to the middle, if not temporarily to the right. We need a type of political equilibrium to set affairs aright again, and we're just not there. Increasingly, I'm inclined to describe myself as a centrist, as I've never really saw myself as being on the right, and certainly never saw myself being on the left. But I think that we do need more pushback against the left, if only to achieve that equilibrium and, and pendulum uh, status that is completely absent right now. People are working at it, yes, people are doing it, there are public speakers doing it, but I don't see it going fast enough. And my worry is that Trump was a quote-unquote short-lived victory. And I'm reluctant to even use the term victory to describe his election. Still, this is something we need to be on the lookout for in the future. Just because uh, in the wake of Trump, something far, far more sinister and far less centrist, far uh, more left-wing could arise. And all kinds of kooky woo-woo might happen in that scenario. I wanted to make this video brief because it, it's a brief point I wanted to make, but look out for backlash, look out for blowback. Trump's victory might be short-lived. It might yield something far, far worse down the line, especially if you're not on the left. Something to pay attention to. Everyone, I will check you out at a later day. Take care. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.